Hey guys, hey, welcome back, welcome back to another uh, video. This time I'm going to be talking about the Mario movie. Um, if you guys enjoy, enjoy uh, me talking about things and all that, please hit that like button and just cry to my channel. I would really appreciate that. I have 214 subs, thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, um, you know, I finally said that right. I've been, been been saying the number wrong all this time. I do end up correcting myself, but the fact that I finally said it right without having to correct myself is pretty good. Because I'm so used to being under under 200, you know, subscribers. I keep saying that, but yeah. But if we can get this channel to 300 subs, I will reward you guys with two re reward videos, and they will both be SpongeBob related. So, yeah. So, so we have to get this channel to, to um we have to get this channel to 300 subs first. So uh, yeah. But anywho, um, we're gonna be talking about the uh, you know post the post um credit scene because apparently. They, 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 they apparently they're gonna have a post credit scene. Now I'll be talking about that in a second. First, I want to tell you guys that um, today I've been well. Today I I went to Slackers to volunteer at the mall because I wanted to try out a job. Because you know with my medication and stuff and my depression and stuff that I've been dealing with from from the past. Uh, it was really hard for me to get a job and my bipolar too. So I had a lot of problems. I even had my legs messing up, so it was really hard to get a job. And I had to deal with my getting my wisdom teeth taken out too. So I had a lot of things going on that made it really difficult to, for me to get a job. I still haven't got a job. I'm still not working at Slackers a hundred percent. But um, but what I'm doing here is I'm volunteering. I'm going to the Capitol Mall in Jeff, and I'm volunteering there once a month. I'm going to be doing it once a month. I'm going to try to, at least, so they can get me in. Now, now, the thing is, though, it was pretty fun there, actually. It was fun working there. I liked it. You know, it was always my dream to work to work um, at, at, at a movie store. It was. Slackers is kind of, it's more of a... Like it's a little mixture of movies and games, but they sell a lot of movies there, they do. And I always wanted to work at a movie store. I did. I wanted to work at Hastings, but they closed, so I couldn't work at them. So, well, I couldn't work for them, because they closed. So yeah, I was so happy to finally be able to volunteer there, at least. And I didn't get a paycheck, because I was only volunteering there, but they did give me, give me store credit, so I can buy stuff there. Well, the manager did. He's pretty nice. I like him. He's pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, I volunteered there. It had a blast. Um, I did some vacuuming. I, uh, organized their stuff. I, well, helped organize things. I, uh, I also, I, I put up a little bit of stuff on the shelf, too, but I couldn't do a whole lot because we spent a lot of that time trying to, trying to, uh, you know, get stuff organized because the ship the ship truck came in and there was a lot of stuff. Which it turns out there's not supposed to be a lot of stuff usually, but this time around there was a lot of stuff. So So yeah, but um but yeah I did help them organize all that and I it took me a little while to get in. I did go to Subway at the mall. I went to Subway and ate ate a sandwich there. I ate a sandwich. And it was it was pretty good. Um, I like the sandwich. It cost me about 15 bucks, which is a lot of money, but I got a drink with it and I got a foot long. So it was it was still worth the money because it was really good. Yeah, I got to eat my Subway sandwich because I arrived there about 1 o'clock and I didn't have to work and I didn't volunteer until 2, but it took me a little while to get in because of, you know, because of certain things. Because, you know, they were... There was only like one person working there. The other guy eventually came in. The, the manager was already there. He, he was the one I was, I was with when, when the, I first got there. And uh, yeah, um, so yeah, I uh, it took me a while to get in. I got in and got to do, to do some stuff. 
like vacuuming and stuff, putting price tags on on the Slackers DVDs, and I even, I even you know got to um, I even got to you know um, trade in some movies too. So I got to trade in some movies. So uh, you know, so I only got five like five bucks for it, unfortunately, which is not a lot of money because I traded in a lot of movies, but. It's still, five bucks is still something, you know, it's not, it's kind of, I was a little upset, but five bucks is still something, you know, it's not a whole lot, but it's still something, you know. And plus with my store credit, which I'm still not sure, I'm not sure if, if the store credit was the 15, was the 15, they added on to the five that I got, or if it's something that, that's, um, you know, that's something that's completely separate, because I did get store credit. Also, um, before I start the actual video, I want to mention that um, I'm going to be selling my book. But I made a video on it back, back about, I think it was a couple months ago. I can't remember when I made it. Um, the book is about two ghosts going to the mall. And uh, I made a book on that. Um, I've actually sold a few copies already. I have. I even took one to the school. So the school's got some. So... It's spreading around pretty fast, actually. Considering it's only been a couple weeks since I started actually selling it. Because I technically... I technically couldn't... I don't really have a car, so I can't just drive somewhere. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to sell. But I'm selling this book kind of fast. Well, I'm not selling it, but I'm spreading it around kind of fast. I have sold, you know, some copies. So, I think a total... I think I sold six or seven, but... I sold one at a school, so that I used to go to. So yeah, I got a lot, lot of stuff. But I'm gonna be doing that probably once a month. So if you guys ever are travel to Missouri or something and go to the Capitol Mall, um, I will be you know selling books there sometimes, you know. But um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. So if you guys are interested in books, especially ones I made. And my friend helped me make it, then, you know, you guys can find me at the mall. I don't really like reviewing my face too much, but, um, but I feel like, you know, I can, you know, people can see me in person, I guess, you know, even though it makes me a little embarrassed, but people can see me in person and we can, we can do some, you know, we can, I can show off my book and stuff. So, yeah, because I want to do that, you know, I want to make my own, my stuff to be popular, you know. I want people to know me for my art, you know? But, um, yes. I just wanted to tell you guys what happened. Also, um, we got stuck in traffic and on the way home, and it took us forever to get home because, because there was a wreck on the bridge. So, uh, yeah, so. But we got home, you know, I'm home now, you know, I'm home. But, um, yeah, so... So, anywho, enough about that. I just want to tell you guys what happened today. I don't normally do that, but it was pretty exciting today. So, uh, yeah. Oops. I need to do that. That was an accident. Sorry. Anywho, I'm going to be going ahead and talking about what I, what the video is actually about. And, um, I'll, pro I'll probably also put put a cut. I don't, I don't know if I'll do this or not. I'm, I'm probably going to cut the... Like, depending on how long it took me to actually explain this, I might put a time code in the com well, not the comments, but, um, but the, um, you know, um, I'll probably put it in the, uh, you know, in the title so you guys can see it, um, so that way you guys know where to skip. It depends on how long it, it took me to do that stuff, but, yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated what happened, so, yeah. But this, this came out, this video came out actually earlier. Um, see, um, at the shop, I don't got a lot to do, so I basically was watching YouTube a lot. And I, um, saw that Bill Skyping, um, he used to be called Bill Skyping on 94, but I finally remember what, how to pronounce his name for some reason. He actually explained it why he removed the 94 on his channel back then, but about, a, I think it was last year, I think it was. I don't know, it was either the beginning of this year or last year. I think it was last year he explained that, but yeah, he removed his 94, so it's just called Bill Skyping. But he mentioned that the Mario movie is going to have a post-credit a post um, credit scene. So, um, 
What is this video going to be about? Is it going to be about news related stuff? Well, I'm probably going to make this more of a thought and theories um, because I want to I want to make some predictions on on what on what this post credit scene could be. You know, I want I want to think about what this post credit scene could be. Now, um, Illuminations always had post credit scenes. I figured there was going to be some because um, Illuminations always had some. They got the minions and stuff that appear and all that. Well, surprisingly, the Rise of Gru didn't have, I don't think, any post credit scenes that I was aware of. Because I, I watched, I watched the end credits. And I didn't, I didn't know. Wait, wait. I don't think it. I don't remember if it was a, no, it wasn't the Rise of Gru because we left the theaters without seeing the credits because Maddie had to go home and stuff. But. No, it was it was Despicable Me three, I think, is what I was thinking of. Yeah, I think it was that movie. I was thinking there was no post credit scenes with the minions doing ridiculous things. No, I think I think I think they're all right. I think they're all. Right. I mean, I don't I I don't like how you can't understand what the minions are saying. I feel like they just talk gibberish. Now, technically, they're supposed. I think they're supposed to be. I heard that they they actually speak multiple different languages. They're not just speaking gibberish or speaking multiple languages. No, it's not. It's not. It's not always. It's not always a, a bad thing. But um, the fact that the Illumination stars these guys, these are the face of Illumination. It's kind of just strange. It's just. It's strange, you know. Like we can't understand what they're saying. It's kind of like if, like, let's say I don't know. Uh, we had like Jabba the Hutt or something be the face of Lucasfilm or something. We can't understand what he's saying. I mean, to be to be fair, you can you can you know he has dialogue, but even then, it's like it'd be kind of annoying just to have to read the, the dialogue just to understand what he's saying. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of annoying. You can't understand what they're saying. I know people despise the minions. I think they're all right. I don't think they're the worst characters ever, but I don't think they're that great either. I think they're just all right. But it, it, I mean, the films probably the Despicable Me movies would probably be. It'd be, it'd be kind of different without them in there, but I don't know. But yeah, they do have post credit scenes in the mo for the most part. But, um, I don't know about, the, I actually don't know if the other movies have it or not, but the Spickable Me movies did. Now, um, now the Mario movie is supposed to have a post credit scene. Now, I'm going to make a prediction video on this. Also, the reason why the coloring down here is green and not red is because I want to save the red coloring when I actually review the Mario movie. So I want to actually review the Mario movie and all that with the red coloring for Mario. So that's why it's green instead of red. But yeah, so um, but yeah, so basically though, um, there's gonna be a post credit scene. Now I want to say we probably. I, this doesn't mean this is actually gonna happen. This is my predictions. But um, if you guys feel free, you guys can leave your own predictions down in the comments. But I want to think. Let's. I want to think here about what could the post-credit scene be or scenes. You know, it could be more than one. I don't know. I I have a feeling it's gonna be probably a post. I think it's probably gonna be one post-credit scene. I don't, I don't think that they would just. I don't think they would just throw the, the minions in there like that. I mean, yeah, they, they are the face of Illumination, but it's uh But I don't. I don't. I don't know if um. You know, they would just throw that in there. So I think there's probably gonna be one, one post credit scene. In the movie, there'll be one post credit scene now. Now, post credit scenes usually reveal something. They reveal something, usually a sequel or a spin off or something like that. Is what they usually, um, they usually, um, you know, reference. So, um, so what could the post credit scene be about? Well, it could be Rosalina. Rosalina could be in the movie because Luma Lee is going to be in the movie. Yeah, he's going to be in the movie. I still don't like like how they made him a boy and not a girl because I feel like I feel like Luma Lee sounds like a girl's name, but hey, I don't know. But you know, that's just me. But you know, that's just me. You know what? 
But anywho, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll go more into depth about that when I actually review the Mario movie, but, you know, I just wanted to say say that out there, you know, because it literally just sounds like a girl's name. Like, if you go on Twitter and stuff, I've seen people mix the gender up a lot, because a lot, a lot of people said it was a called it a she, because, I, you know, literally sounds like a girl's name, but, you know, but they make it a boy's name. But I don't know, but, but yeah, anywho, um, but anywho, they could, they could have Rosalina, you know, appear in the, the end credits, because they're having Lumilini be in the movie. Now, I was really excited to see Lumilini in the movie, I was so excited, I really was. Although he's kind, of, he's kind of a goofball. Like he's just that. Uh, I think he just doesn't take things seriously. It looks like he looks like he's gonna be a dip. Yeah, they even hit. They even say he's dimwitted. Yeah, I remember I watched the trailer and, and I thought I didn't know if it was a she or he when they they literally addressed it. It was a he. But you know, I just uh, I couldn't hear the trailer very well because they don't have freaking earbuds. I couldn't hear it, so that's why you know I thought it was maybe a female. Or, I don't know if it. But I kind of saw it them making it a male because most Mario characters are males. But yeah, but yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if Rosalina would be would be. I don't know if they would just put Rosalina at the end of the movie. I mean, they could, they could, they could put her at the end of the movie as a surprise character, like to have like maybe a final message or something. Because they could have a sequel to this movie too. They could. So I don't know if they're going to make a sequel or not. Because so I think what's going to happen is they're going to be making spin-off movies. There's already, I think, a Donkey Kong movie in, in product. Well, in the, they're going to be... They already announced a Mario... I mean, a Donkey Kong movie. So, Lee Case going to have his own movie. Now, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I, you know... I'm not sure if I, you know... Uh, if they're going to have, uh, you know... Well, I'm not sure if they're going to have, you know, a Luigi's Mansion uh, movie or not. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I would love to see a Luigi's Mansion video movie. That'd be cool. Although, I don't think it'd be as interesting. Because, uh, personally, I prefer the Mario series over Luigi's Mansion games. I mean, I technically haven't finished the third one yet. But, so far, i played the third one. And, my God, that game freaking frustrates the hell out of me. It really does. Like, it is, if they just throw, like, freaking puzzles left and right, and it's freaking annoying to get stumped all the time, and sometimes I'm just like, why can't the game just tell me what to do, you know? I don't really know, but... But yeah, but... I mean, otherwise, besides the puzzles, I think the game, for the most part, isn't really that bad. It really is. It, it, it's, it's... I mean, it's got other problems with it, too, but... But the, the puzzle thing is what's really bad about it. But yeah, um But yeah, um I, I do um I do have um you know got I do gotta say though that um they could make a Luigi's Mansion spin-off or they could make a Paper Mario movie. Cause here's the thing. There was supposed to be a Paper Mario movie that they were t talking about making back then. It was gonna be a super paper Mario movie. And I'm so bummed that got cancelled because I would have loved to see that movie. I would have loved it. It probably would have been great. But sadly, it got cancelled. I don't know how well it would work as a movie, though, because, you know, because there's so many characters in Super Paper Mario, I don't know how well that would work as a movie or even a TV show. Well, TV show, what they could do is... I actually, not, I'm not going to lie, I've been thinking about this because... I've been thinking about, like, wouldn't it be cool if I could write the the, the scripts? Because I probably could. But Nintendo probably wouldn't hire me, you know, because I'm not really... I never worked with Mario before, so they probably wouldn't hire me. But, um, the thing is, though, is that... I've actually talked... I have not talked... Well, I've talked in the comments with people before about mentioning that... I've actually had plenty of ideas for scripts and stuff like Mario and stuff. Paper Mario... Like I was, I, I was thinking about making like that, like a thousand year door show, where it's more, it's more like, like um, where it's, it's more story focused and stuff, and like it, it's kind of, it's kind of like a Mystery Incorporated or um, Gravity Falls, you know, where like they have like, 
they have like a main, a main villain or something and uh, you know and all that because that's kind of how the story kind of is set up in the, in the game but you gotta obviously make it different otherwise people aren't gonna watch it but I could probably make my own I might make my own video on that maybe that'd be kind of cool make my own video on on that stuff you know but um but yeah um but yeah I gotta say I gotta say though um yeah I got I mean, they 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 could have made a Paper Mario movie and all that. If yeah, I mean, they could have been kind of hard because there's so many characters in the movie. That's the problem too with this movie. They're throwing a bunch of characters at you, which that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not really sure. I mean, it looks it looks really good, but you can't really judge it until the movie comes out. Which the movie's coming out in actually, I think it's coming out next week. Yeah, the movie's coming out actually next week, so uh, we're gonna be seeing that movie pretty soon. And um, I'm gonna go see it in the theaters. I'm gonna go see it. It looks a lot more interesting than freaking Light Eater, that's for sure. I I don't know if you guys know this or not, but back uh, uh, last year I made a reaction trailer to uh, Light Eater, and the trailer looked so boring, and the movie ended up being boring too and forgettable. So, so um. Yeah, but this 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 looks more more energetic. It looks more like it has more f funny. It looks more funny, and like the jokes don't feel cringe. They don't feel cringe at all. They feel really funny. They do. I mean, they're kind of it's kind of dramatic, but it's dramatic in a good way. It might not make you laugh like laugh laugh, but it looks more like it, like it's trying to be a good movie while trying to be funny at the same time. Instead of trying to th throw stupid jokes at you like every every second or so, like Lightyear did. So yeah, I mean this movie looks like it might be a lot better, but I don't know. We'll have to see. But yeah, but I mean, I mean there's a, there's a lot of things we don't know about the movie, and yes, they revealed a lot of stuff in the trailers too. They did. They, they, I, some people think they might have revealed too much. They might have. I don't know. I'm hoping they didn't reveal too much in the trailers because I want to see the actual movie. Now, some people might just skip the trailers and just go go right to the, you know, right to the, watching the movie. But, um, but, you know, for me, I like to watch the trailers and stuff and see what the trailers are about. So, yeah. So the fact that you know they they have a lot of like stuff that tra they don't have just trailers they have pieces of the movie all over the internet but there's multiple pieces. Had they even made a freaking a, a freaking Super Mario Better Super Show remake of the uh, original theme, or I I don't I don't think it was a remake per se but they have like the same song or they have like them in a van or something. Which is pretty cool, actually. I really like that, but um, pretty interesting. But yeah, so they actually they actually have a lot of st stuff for this movie. So they really want this movie to do well. But I don't know if it's going to do well or not. We don't know until the movie comes out. I do have the feeling this movie is gonna definitely do a really well, though, because even if people don't like it, because I'm I'm hoping people like it, because this will make Nintendo want to make more, you know, movies again, because Nintendo kind of stopped making, you know, Nintendo content for a while. I mean, there were some shows like Mega Mind and Sonic and stuff, which, Sonic is more Sega, but, you know, they kind of, they par they're partnered up with, with, you know, Nintendo, so, but, you know, they made some shows, but for the most part, they kind of, they kind of, you know, um, stopped making shows because a lot of them were bad some of them were good but a lot of the shows were really bad back in the day so yeah but well I don't know what to see but we're but I don't know what the post credit scene is gonna be about either I really don't know because it guess again it could be it could be anything it could, it could be it could be I you know it could be you know a, a cameo with Rosalina which I I don't know if it would be because you know, because you know it's, it's going to. Because I have a feeling that they're going to have Rosalina just appear out of nowhere because this, this, this looks like some of this movie takes place in space on Rainbow Ride and stuff. I mean, Rosalina is probably going to appear in the movie because she's probably going to rescue one of her Lumas. So she's probably going to appear probably towards the end of the movie. I have a feeling, but the post-credit scene. 
is going to have something else. I don't know, it might, it might, the post credit scene might be a hint for maybe Luigi's Mansion, you know, a Luigi's Mansion movie coming out. I don't know. Because I, I'm not sure. But again, this is just predictions. It doesn't mean this will actually happen. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know what to say here, um, I'm just hoping it does good, because I'd like to see that Paper Mario movie come back. That'd be so cool to see it again. See, Nintendo try to make pa bring Paper Mario back from the dead, because Paper Mario is, has gotten really bad. It really has. I mean, it was started off as a great series with the original and then Thousand and Door. Well, I haven't really played the whole game of the original. I have seen footage of the Thousand Year Door. But I don't remember much of that game either. I'm sure if I play that game, you know, through, I probably remember it very well. But I played Super Paper Mario, and I played Sticker Star. Sticker Star is probably my least favorite so far. And then, because I'm, I still think it was somewhat enjoyable. I still liked, you know, some of it. But it was definitely the most laziest of the Paper Mario games. Then they had Color Splash, which I honestly don't know anything about that game. I know some stuff, but I barely know anything about that game because I'm, you know, most of it, you know, I have not seen. That's like the only Paper Mario game I have not even play, played or seen any footage of. Well, I've seen some, but but not a whole lot of footage. Then you have, uh, you know, um, then you have, uh, you know, Origami King. Origami King fixed some of the problems. It fixed some of it. It gave the, the, the game more of a story and stuff and all that, and uh, it did create an original boss. But, but the game still has way too many toads. There's not really any originality with, when it comes to enemies. It's all the same. I mean, the, I don't really like the paper background. I kind of like the, the more cartoony background, you know, because Paper Mario is, you know, cartoony looking and... The paper background just looks doesn't look very good when it comes doesn't look very good when it comes to Paper Mario. Now I get it's an origami it's an origami you know game, game which I'll let that slide. But the fact that they use the same style three times I heard I don't remember if they I don't remember seeing it in Sticker Star because I haven't played that game in years. In Color Splash I haven't really played that at all. So I only seen a little bit of footage of like. I think a shy guy fight and all that, but yeah, but, but they've been using the same style. So if they could bring back, you know, Super Paper Mario, that'd be great. They can bring it back from the dead and um and ma make it good again. Cause there's too many toads. I don't mind there being toads in, in in the in there, but there needs to be more original background characters. Super Paper Mario, although some people have problems with it not focusing on RPG and the bosses are too easy and stuff. I do agree they are too easy, but I kind of like the non-RPG battles. Now, I get that's kind of destroying Paper Mario a bit, but it was only one game and they still had original characters and stuff. While the, the, the other ones have just been focusing on, on you know, constantly um, making Toad's background characters and not making a lot of original stuff which sucks it really does it just kind of sucks but I really don't know what to say there I really don't know what to say but I'm probably gonna go ahead and let things go here so um I just want to tell you guys my thoughts and my predictions on this so um yeah Tomorrow I have a special video for you guys. Um, I also try to go back to Luigi's Mansion 3 if I can, if I have time. And this 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 video is going to be um, really special for the news related video. It's a news related video, and I'm so excited to talk about it. Anywho, um, see you guys all tomorrow. Bye bye.